Welcome to MDB Electrosoft. In this video, we are gonna discuss how to use breadboard. Breadboard is a rectangular piece of plastic with a bunch of line holes that allows you easily and quickly build electronic circuits by pushing electronic component into the holes. You can build either easy or any complex circuits on a breadboard. Now breadboard comes with different shapes, size and even in different colors. The most common size you will probably see is a full size breadboard. Breadboard comes with notch and tabs on their side that allows you to cascade multiple boards together to get a bigger work area. However, this breadboard is sufficient for many beginners level projects. Technically, these breadboards are also called as solderless breadboards because they do not require soldering to make connections. Frequently, engineers use solderless breadboards to prototype and test a circuit before building the final and permanent design on a PCB. Almost all the components with leads will work with a breadboard. Let us divide breadboard in different sections. Let's call section A, section B, section C and section D. Section A and section D are horizontally connected. Section B and section C are vertically connected. Section A is divided into two halves. There is no connection between the first half and second half. Similarly, there is no connection between the first half and second half here. In section A and D, there is no connection between first row and second row. Similarly, in section B and C, there is no connection between any two columns. Section A and section D are used for power supply and ground connections. Section B and section C are where the body of the circuit comes. Breadboards are designed so you can push these leads into the holes. They will be held in place snugly enough that they will not fall out but lightly enough that you can easily pull on them to remove them. The leads can fit into the breadboard because the inside of a breadboard is made of rows of tiny metal clips. This is how the clip look like when they are removed from breadboard. When you press a component's lead into the breadboard hole, one of the clip grab onto it. Breadboard are provided with double sided tape that prevents the metal clips from falling out. You can peel off the paper layer if you want to permanently stick the breadboard to something or on any base. We previously discussed that there is no connection between these rows internally. So if you ever want to make connections between them, then it can be done with the help of hookup wire. Here it is called a jumper. Simply insert the wire into the holes of both the rows. Similarly, I can connect these rows. Thus, this row is connected with this row and this upper row with this one. We can also make the connections between section D and section A with the help of jumpers like this. Similarly, in the main body section, two columns can be connected through the jumper. Thus, now this lot is connected internally with this one. So, let's see how the different components are mounted on breadboard. An important thing while working with different devices is that make sure that you don't connect two terminals of same component to the same contact. If you do so, there are the chances that you may damage your device or your power supply. So remove it and connect the resistor in holes of different columns as shown in video. Again, I can't connect transistor like this as 
its terminals get shorted. So I need to connect the transistor like this so that none of the terminal get shorted. You can mount LED like this or like this in different section as both these section don't have any connection between them. In the same way switch is mounted. Now let's see how ICs are mounted on breadboard. If you will mount the IC here then its terminals will get shorted as this section has vertical connection. So every time IC is mounted as shown in video because of not having connections between section B and section C. Now we will make a small circuit of switching LED on and off using a switch. So let's make the connection and take battery. Connect positive red wire to this row and negative black wire to this row. Resistor is connected to positive terminal of battery. So I can mount the resistor over here as there is the horizontal connection between the holes. Mount another terminal in any hole here in this section. Anode of LED is connected to the resistor and cathode to the switch. So take LED. Its bigger terminal is anode and smaller one is cathode. All these holes are connected internally. So I can mount anode of LED in any of these holes and cathode to different hole. You can mount it in section B as shown in video. Now let's connect this switch. One of its terminal will be connected to the LED and another terminal to the negative terminal of battery. So mount the switch such that its one of the terminal is connected to the LED and another terminal is on another hole. Now take a jumper and complete the connection of switch with the negative terminal of battery. So this is the complete circuit. Push the switch and it will turn on the LED. So this is how you can make the circuit using breadboard. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, you can subscribe our YouTube channel MDB Electrosoft. You can also visit on our website www.mdbelectrosoft.in.